Hello and welcome back to Rule the Waves 2. We are playing Imperial Germany in the 1900s start. It is 1944 now and we are still at war with the Royal, um, with Great Britain. Uh, the war is now lasting for 15 months and, well, the British Navy is close to seizing its existence, to say it tough. They have three battle cruisers left, two more are building, one carrier left and that's basically it i mean four light carriers and um, a lot of cruisers but when it comes to major battleships they are done we've sunk a huge number of capital ships by now and um, you can see all of this was sunk by the high seas fleet in this war alone so the British are increasingly in tough times. Um, we are actually capable of blockading them now. As you can see here, currently we have 251 points, um, fleet points against 28. So I expect the invasion of Ireland to happen soon. As soon as it happens, we are going to um, redeploy forces to the Mediterranean while Libya is still in our hands. We'll try then to take Malta, Gibraltar, um, Egypt and Rhodes back and of course Cyprus too and I guess at some point in between there they will capitulate or the politicians will make peace. But we'll see. So let's just continue. Yeah, so the army does, didn't succeed but we see um, strikes in Great Britain. Okay. So the British have regained, um, have lowered the unrest with that speech, which means the war will last somewhat longer. But unfortunately, so far, no invasion. Let's hope it comes soon. Okay, what do we have? Two carriers? No, more than two because they spawn right on top of each other, I have no idea why. And two heavy cruisers, that's not ideal because they've turned out to be pretty weak. But anyways... Right, let's have that one speed up. No, he can't hit. Okay, let's put turn this on. cruise speed. Scout has discovered something up here. We can actually have them charge in and um, launch a dive bomber attack in this direction. Uh, I don't want the torpedo bombers which have limited amounts of torpedo to strike torpedoes to strike um, freighters which would be a complete waste of resources. I want them to strike capital ships if possible, but the dive bombers don't have that limitations, so I can have them hammer the freighters. need to be somewhat careful here. I guess I need to turn over because they have torpedoes I think and they will launch a couple of them. Do we get hits? I don't see many hits here. Oh yeah, there was a DD hit. No, but that is that are artillery shells. And those are dive bombers hitting the transports. That's fine too. We take it. Okay, turn back avoid the torpedoes the test class might have shot. Let's hope our cruisers don't blow up this time because lately they liked, they enjoyed blowing up when being shot at. Sibylla is done though, that is good. 
the this Sibylla. The other one is basically done as well. Unfortunately, they are launching torpedoes like mad. Should have ordered them to hold it, hold their fire. Okay. Let's just continue now north and go after the freighters. Where are they? Northeast, so they should be going up here. Okay. Can order them to hold their fire. I mean no, let's let's hold your fire not just for ten minutes but for longer. To save ammo, because they otherwise they just keep pummeling the Sibylla class. And I think the DDs will be just fine fighting the test class. There are the freighters. Okay, good. So we're closing in and we'll crush this convoy. I don't think I will have to face more capital ships than those. Because usually the forces are rather equal and I only had two cruisers and I already sunk two. So in this regard I would not expect more of more to come. So let's launch the torpedo bombers as well. No point in saving them. Not that they would be needed. I think the cruisers will do just fine. But why not use them when we have them? We just let them rush, run right into the convoy, have them shoot in every direction. And you see the first transports are already stopping. Yeah, and they are running out of ammo there because they have so much to shoot at. Okay, let's uh, circle up there, go through those guys until all of them are stopped. Oh, come on, don't you dare torpedo the own ships. This convoy will not be for much longer and I think that will basically be it. We will retreat the fleet after we finish them because the only thing that we can gain afterwards is being attacked by enemy land-based aviation unless he has maybe carriers somewhere around. But unless until we found them, which we haven't so far, it seems um, unlikely and just a waste of time to hope for to hope for them to find them sorry for that it was an alarm yeah those are the airstrikes going in now obviously on ships that are stationary yeah. okay you guys can go back to cruise speed no, no point wasting your ammo and um, we'll just continue. I'm always tempted to turn, to turn off the notifications for when an enemy ship is hit by a torpedo, but I think it can have a tactical advantage to know up front. Yeah, pick them up. 
so you can probably go from one to the other pick them all up which is doing good it's a lot of additional points and if we want to play it like it's an RPG we can say it's also a lot of lives saved there's absolutely no point for those guys to die needlessly so that destroyer should pick up as many as he possibly can and that's it okay good easy victory not too many points but still nice result let's just continue we have 10 million surplus so we could build another Mackensen class yeah let's actually build one let's build Wilhelm the third who should be Emperor by now and actually let's build Wilhelm the second too he's sunk right I think he is yep should we build another battle cruiser? I mean, we have enough carriers. Yeah, why not? Let's build one. Mm, wait. Could we probably d update the design? That might also be possible. I mean, we don't have better guns yet, right? No. Hmm. Uh, 400 that would allow for a lot of torpedoes. Let's actually do this. Updating the design hardly costs anything. So why not? Okay, that's 8 torpedoes per side. Or we could increase the amount of planes carried, which also seems a good choice or maybe increase turret armor which seems as to be an even better choice let's actually do that Wilhelm the third class wait what? why does it take so long? is that little piece of armor increasing? Okay, so I can't change more than one inch, then it's a completely new ship, good to know. Twenty-eight, it's thirty-two knots, twenty-eight is basically nothing, so let's risk it. turn right okay working up um, French wants to buy something yeah the French hardly have any fleet left and they are currently even allied with us so let's sell it to them cruiser action yeah why not let's hope I can use my battle cruisers and not just the heavy cruisers uh, no it's actually light cruisers okay fine too Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. How good is this ship? 15, 6 inch. I think it's the same. 2 and 2 and a half inch. No, it's only 12. Oh, he's better armored. Okay. Does it have electro optical rangefinder? Uh, where does it say which rangefinder? Deliver it fire. Can't find the gu the fire control. Chance. Huh. I can't find it. It should have optical. I think. No, there is no way to see it this way, I think. At least I don't find anything. 
Well, nothing we could change here. I think my fire control should be better. But we'll have to see. I'm gonna risk losing the ship because why not? We have enough of them. But I think he's getting away. So he has been hit twice and he has scored seven hits. Yep, that's quite, um, that says enough. So we can risk going after them, after him. Oh, it's actually two of them. Okay. Oh, he's still going after him. What kind of ship is this? This is a weak one. Let's go for this one first if he can. If we can, if he's slow enough. I have some cruisers out of the own, out of my own control as well. Okay, and that one is actually already going down. Okay, good. This one is done. So let's look for the other one. Let's check on the mines first, what stage she's in. Taking a lot more hits, some flooding. 21 hits, oh, oh well, I think we can risk going after further targets. Okay, so the French Air Force is entering the battle. That is nice. Wait, we're down to 22 knots. Okay, I think we're retreating with this one. We've sunk one. Now let's hope we are not going to face enemy air attack. Which is likely though. And as usually, they're just pummeling the ship that has already sunk. Going right down here and then towards Brest. If we can. Where is he going? Yeah, he's going the right way. Okay, good. Okay. Higher speed. It's fine. Okay, we are getting attacked now. But I said I'm not gonna care about that. Uh, I can't have. I don't have control about the Allied forces, so I'm not gonna try to help them. And with a ship that has a maximum speed of only 22, because it has taken too much damage, I'm not gonna get close in whether we are losing this battle because okay apparently we don't major victory fine it's actually really rare that you lose big ships when they're in an allied force it seems to be less aggressive or something like that hardly ever lose a ship okay Wilhelm the third is ready for construction so we built a Wilhelm the third and it will um the second super battle cruisers now it would be f awesome if i had a development of the if the thing would um a better 18 inch gun would be developed but nevertheless convoy attack yeah let's go for that when do i finally invade ireland this is really annoying I mean, I have complete superiority here. Should be defined by now. Okay, convoy attack. What is this? AV. Okay. What is he doing with a float plane um, ship? 
what is it called in English? AV. German it's called um, Flugzeugmutterschiff, which would mean like airplane mothership. Sounds kind of like, I don't know, almost like Star Trek stuff. But um, yeah, I can't remember the name in English. But it's like a, a con usually a converted freighter or something that um, can launch float planes either by Wait, where is the command of this one? It can launch float planes either by directly um, launching them with a catapult or by um, setting by, by using a crane and just putting them into the water. We're going to use one to hunt the AV down and the other group is going into the transports. Okay, that's it. So let's go back here. Yeah, why not save save some lives? Mm, okay. I love radar. Being still able to see is so amazing and actually even being able to shoot something. Why do they always try to torpedo my own ships? Like this is, this is a l very close, look at this. If I want to launch a risky torpedo, it always stops me, even if it isn't really risky. The AI just torps wherever it wants. Set them all back to manual, uh, to auto control. So I don't have to order them all manually. I think it's basically everything is sunk. So we can go here. We are actually at cruise speed. Let's make sure those two don't survive, but after that. I think we're just going to retreat. Okay, that's it. Cruise speed, get away. Maximum speed, and that should be it already. And unless the army finally invades Ireland. The rest of the war will probably be rather boring. Just blockading the British and hoping that at some point it'll be a victory, finally. That the um, politicians finally give in in Great Britain. But yeah, so far it's rather unspectacular. Emergency cap procedure, okay. Whatever. Does the time still run? It does. That's the only important thing. I don't care about cap, at least not for now. This should be it. Perfect. 
Yes, he didn't even have warships at all. Weird. It's like the British are completely wiped out. What? How many DDs does he have left? One. He actually doesn't have destroy. He doesn't even have destroyers left. Holy. Why do don't you guys invade Ireland? He's out of of ships, like completely. It's just madness. Well, let's charge mortars. Okay. Auto resolve. Okay. Fortunately, one sunk. Never mind. We continue. Oh yeah, we need to check for new planes. Cruiser battle, that might be with battle cruisers. Okay, now they start to decline. And a fleet battle, and they decline. Convoy defense, this we decline, I don't see a point in that. Um, aircraft types, flying boat. Okay, um. Let's. Question is do, do they um, keep them until this one is built up? I have no idea. Well, let's leave them for now. Let's get us new dive bombers. They are the oldest one after that. We want range and bomb load, I guess. Reliability would be awesome too, but or toughness. But you have to put an emphasis on something. New dive bomber, and here we even got an offer. Faster, lower lower cruise speed, higher range, higher firepower, lower maneuverability, more toughness. No. It's not really a big difference. Enemy declines battle. Okay, so now this time we sink a, um, a radar. That's good. Shipborne HFDF. Good. Locate. Great Britain, uh, Wilhelm has been, it's in the dockyard, that's fine as long as it, it survives. What resolve? Tires from larger enemy, that's fine. Um, how are those ships, by the way? Oh yeah, and let me check on the sh on these, um, yeah, it does have, on the cruisers, it does have electro-optical di directors. That should be everything like in the 40s, so except for those old colonial types. The rest of them have modern fire control. No. Um, 18. So one and a half years left. 17 inch quality one. Uh, we don't have 17 inch, 17 inch, but we're still gonna buy it, obviously. Auto loader for seven and eight inch guns. Oh. Can't remember I ever had that before. I always thought that six inch is the maximum. Even bigger carriers are possible. Okay, that looks like we're going to have to build new cruisers and aircraft carriers soon. Raid on coastal shipping. I don't like this, but we are accepted. Mm, attack enemy ships, obviously. So we've got a few battle cruisers and a few battleships. You follow them, and those are light cruisers, light cruisers, okay. You go to 20 knots, and we've got some carriers as well, okay. So that is going to be a bigger battle. Does he have some destroyers again? Five, okay. He's running out of ships completely. He only has 12 cruisers left. Wow. Crazy. And let me guess. Dusk will be dusk will be in fourteen hours. Wow! Finally I have a coastal raid that is in broad daylight. So I can actually bombard the, the target. That's nice. Should I launch some, I, I, you know what, let's launch some dive bombers here. 
Maybe they take out a freighter that would otherwise get away or something like that. Um, could head heavy. It's still in heavy range. That's amazing. The range of the dive bombers has gone up so far since the beginning. Okay, wait. We have more than this. Okay, where are those? They're probably stacked up on top of each other again. Because I haven't even realized I have this many carriers. Here is even more. I apparently have brought the whole carrier force. Okay, launch. Battle cruiser, that's it. Okay. Ah, weather limits air operations. But we got some dive bombers away. So AMC, that is probably not an AMC and not an AV, but a transport ship. Yeah, I mean, we hit some transport, that's fine. That's not war deciding, but it'll give us some points. There is actually a cruiser here. Let's speed up. And let's change the course a little. Just to make sure he doesn't have such a hard, easy time to torpedo us. Okay, um, we are hitting them not too hard though, the dive bombers are u quite ineffective, which unfortunately they are far too often. Something like midway where the dive bombers decide the battle, I didn't have that so far. Even though they now carry I think at least a thousand pounds of bombs. But still, I mean, going fantastic so far, I think we will get that like, yep, it's already done, perfect. You hold your fire at least for 10 minutes now. That light cruiser is done with. We are now going to charge in, just charge in and go for the bombardment target. There have been a lot of spottings around here. And yes, the weather is no longer limited, a limiting factor. So let's launch another series of strikes. We use the dive bombers again, why not? Keeping the torpedo bombers in reserve. Well, it doesn't really make sense to launch one. Let's send in some torpedo bombers. And he can't have much at all anyways. And you sh send yours. Where is that? Okay. I think Graf Pfeif P. Von Erdöd, I think, should be it, that, right? Yeah. Okay. Cruiser. Wait. Where do we have... Oh, down here. Let's go for it, then. If we have cruisers here. There might also be a battle cruiser or two left. That we can kill. That would be nice. Yes, actually, there is a few. C there are a few capital ships. Let's go after them. Where is he turning? Oh, we found. We have a battle cruiser spotting. So far unconfirmed. Uh, okay, no longer unconfirmed. One of the few they are. They have left. Quite a good design, I think. I mean, the belt armor could be thicker, but if you expect the battles to be at very long range, then deck armor is far more important. And, and another whole class, which might then turn out to be another cruiser. I mean, I don't know how often I'm supposed to have sunk this guy and it turned out to be a cruiser, but maybe we're lucky this time. 
Anulf der Böse. Go kill him. And we are we have a hit after hit on them. That's good. That destroyer is pretty hit pretty hard, which is nice. We take you to ah uh, no, let's leave you manually. I don't know, otherwise you go what God knows where. Do these guys have torpedoes? Well, he doesn't. <laughs> if he hit so had some, he won't, he doesn't have them anymore? No, he doesn't. Okay, good. Now finally it turned towards how it is supposed to be that the British ships are blowing up and not mine. And I mean the inflexible can't be for much longer. The only problem now is that Brisk class, whether or not he still has torpedoes. You could actually target that guy to take him out, hopefully. Okay, he's done. Brisk class is slowing down. And should, yep, it is finished. And we can now go after those light cruisers. And I actually, s I'm going to send this one here towards the bombardment target. Ah, okay. One torpedo hit, where, which one? This one up here, okay. Where did the, the torpedo come from? Weird. Because I don't see enemy torpedo planes. But I don't think I have to worry. My ships nowadays are so tough in um, taking damage, in taking torpedo damage, that there is not much of a threat. Okay, spotted a submarine. Oh yeah, mines can become an issue too. That's another thing. That will be an explanation. There is a DD somewhere here. Yeah, it's torpedo bombers doing their usual thing. Torpedoing a ship that's already sinking. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't complain. They have sunk a couple of ships in the past. But it is happening so insanely often. Brisk class and inflexible class is getting torped into oblivion. Brisk is slowly getting hit by more torpedoes than she ever had on board. Yep, <laughs> I think now we're definitely at that point. Uh, you could switch to this guy, please. Goner as well. Fiesler, okay. Um, yeah. What was spotted? There was spotted. A lot of ships were actually spotted around here. But I think most of them are like spotted several times at, at various different points. And so we're not talking about that huge a number. Okay, you could actually hold your fire for a few minutes while you get out of range, so you're not wasting your shells on ships that are already sinking. Mm, let's see whether you can kill that bombardment target in time and then we'll send you all to Brest, I think. That's the closest harbor. And should end the game the fastest. You know, we could also... Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's do a few airstrikes here, so south of Harwich. Mm. 
Dive bomber barely has any ship planes ready. Um, those here. Nine is okay. And ten as well, launch. Maybe they can take out a few more freighters, which would give me more victory points. Let's bombard that land target. So, so few ships left that I can hardly be surprised anymore. I think the biggest threat now are mines and land-based aviation, but my AA is pretty decent as well. And my ships are sturdy, so even if he hits them, if even if he gets through, he won't have, he will have a hard time ha landing so many torpedo hits that he actually kills them. Okay, you can go down to his cruise speed, no point in racing while you bombard that and that's it okay good go back go down there and go down there at cruise speed go down there at cruise speed there okay let's go Deutsche Djibouti has sighted an unknown ship. So what can, what ships, oh, it's still the Rex. Never mind. Should probably go further away from the coast to risk, to reduce the risk of mines, but I'm kind of lazy now. Let's hope I'm not gonna regret this real soon. Yeah, yeah, pick up survivors. We are going to save lives as much as we can. Okay, so there are targets down here. Okay, good to know. Square max, squadron max, squadron max. You charge in, you charge down and kill those. Kuras ku. Kurakoa class. Okay. Weird. Kurasau would, would make no sense anyways. Because it's Dutch. But I guess in my naval strikes. Fokker Wolf. I think they are land based. If I'm not completely wrong. Mm, yeah, but they are done. Let me see. Six inch. Another six inch. Not bad ships. And they have a lot of torpedoes, so I should probably, like, I don't know, be careful. But I think uh, as soon as they stop, they don't shoot torpedoes anymore, usually. At least that's what I hope. But, um,. This is basically the complete end of the Royal Navy. Think of the three battle cruisers they had left. Two more have gone down, so the whole Royal Navy is now down to one battle cruiser and one carrier. And they still don't capitulate. Well, if my invasions go through finally, that should give us the opportunity to take a few more possessions. Come on, just go. Wait, what is here? You could check this out, please. 
There might be something juicy left. Oh, did he? Okay, never mind. Just a destroyer. One of the five they have left. Five. <laughs> it's kind of sad. They've suffered such insanely big losses. They had a bigger navy than the German navy at the beginning of this war and the war is only 14 months old. It's, uh, such an utter defeat, Turpitz would be really proud. Um, you are a little isolated there. Um, I think we need to take care of that destroyer before it does some damage. You guys could do that. Charge up here. Okay, some more. Wait, we have a carrier, a uh, cruiser hit. There are cruisers over here. Ah, uh, well, let's go after them. Full speed. While you guys hunt that destroyer. Would be kind of... I should probably start dodging with the carriers. Because he might have launched torpedoes by now. But I mean, my ships are sturdy and I don't really b want to bother anymore. And this one, yep, it's already done. Okay, so you can go back to auto control. There is something down here. What is it? Corvette. <laughs> okay. Not much of a challenge there, we're just ignoring him and let the ships let the battle cruisers shoot him while they pass. Let's see what this is. Is it burning? Not identified yet, but Otto the second should be able to take care of it. Go back here. Oh, another destroyer. Okay. Do I really want to hunt it with a battle cruiser? Maybe they, those dive bombers take care of it. Yeah, let's just ignore him. And you are going towards the port. You are going there as well. Go at full speed. Full speed. No point in wasting more time. This battle is won. <laughs> so we are retreating everything into port. Okay. I have no idea what those two guys are doing. Let's just hope they're not running into th some trouble. Because I can't even select them. They're just separate, I don't know, without any. But okay, that's it. So two battle cruisers sunk, a carrier sunk, three heavy cruisers, two light cruisers, basically everything sunk that was even close. And I guess the carriers, carrier planes took out some of them. Because I can't remember having sunk this many cruisers. Two, I think. One, ah, I don't know. Who cares? Generally speaking, the Royal Navy ceased to exist. I mean, there's not much else to describe it. 
No, not much other way. So they have one battle cruiser left. 6 16 inch guns only, which isn't even a weak armament. Means strong, um, a big ship, which should indicate a lot of armor, but that's it. I mean, hardly any cruisers, one carrier, two of them they are building. No, actually, they are building two. Oh, yeah, I sunk the. What? I sunk a carrier? Can't even remember. <laughs> okay, I guess the carrier planes took care of that. So, um, yeah. The Royal Navy ceases to exist. I, unfortunately, I can't force the invasion. I thought that having four times maybe f um, guarantees it. And we are now from six points to 355, which means we can start redeploying forces to the Mediterranean um, and to other areas. But this is something for the next episode. So. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did so, please consider following and subscribing. Almost every one of these battles is streamed live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash And uh, see you next time. Thank you for watching.